news from our fable land. The stories we adore, they read to us some more. Ah, yes, that's what you're waiting for. This daily fable will unfold all the stories to be told. All new. Too true. Well, listen then to you. For animals are lofty dreamers. Just like people, crafty schemers. Generous, jealous, humble, grand. But they're fun, you understand. We know. Let's go to Daily Fable Land. London Bridge has fallen down. Fallen down. Fallen down. London Bridge has fallen down, my fair lady. Uh, no, dear little box watchers, that is not a headline from the Daily Fable. Just a little poem I'm rather fond of. But the same fate has befallen Miss Ant's house. And she's been invited to stay with the Beaver Brothers. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. My house is gone. I have nothing to clean 15 times a day. Uh, can I clean your workshop? But you cleaned it already. Several times. It, more than several, Bert. Many. More than many, Fred. You can't have more than many, Bert. Many is as many as you can get. Oh, please, don't argue on my account, because I'm so grateful to you uh, for taking me in. Yeah, all right, then. But although we've taken you in, this evening we've got to go out. Yes, dear little box watchers. Ooh, which reminds me, it's some time since I thought of a new name to call you. How do you like screen scanners? <laughs> Let's try it. Yes, dear little screen scanners. The Beaver Brothers had received many more invitations to dine with Martha and Myra, the Hamster Sisters, and had finally agreed to go. There was much excitement amongst those two lovely ladies. Oh, how do I look, Martha? I've spent all day preparing myself for them. Myra, you're as pretty as a picture. Which picture did you have in mind? The Venus de Milo. That's not a picture. That's a statue. Then you're as stunning as a statue. How do I look? Tell me again. As beautiful as a butterfly. A real glamour hamster. I hope it's all worth it. We've had to make ourselves pretty and make a special dinner to be friends with Fred and Bert. And all that Miss Ant had to do was to let her house fall down. Myra, are you jealous? Me? Jealous? Jealous of Miss Ant being in with the Beaver Brothers? I can answer you in one word. Yes. And she had reason to be jealous, because the Beavers told Miss Ant before they left, Tomorrow we'll start building a brand new house for you. Better than the one you had before. The best. Better than the best. Bert, you can't get better than the best. Best is the bestest you can get. Tell you what, Fred, before we have to go to those hamster sisters, let's look for a site for Miss Ant's new house. Okie dokie doke. Okie dokie doke. Meanwhile, Miss Stork was also busy, organising relief action for Miss Ant. Together, we shall rebuild the house for fellow animal Sister Ant. We shall all work hard, putting our shoulders to the wheel and our noses to the grindstone. But I say, old girl, that will ruin me for sniffing out snacks. I shall do my best for you. But please, Miss Stork, what will you do? I shall supervise. Ha! <laughs> That's our Miss Stork, the super supervisor. But what they didn't know, dear little screen scanners... No, it's no good. I still prefer box watchers. They didn't know that the beavers had promised to build a new house for Miss Ant. And so, with all this exciting building starting soon, it's not surprising that the story is already building with excitement. And now... Heads under wings, beaks under blankets, all eyes closed, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>